Hello, this is Gene Sutton with AgNAP. I'm going to talk about generating a quick report. First thing we're going to do is open up Spray View. Once we do that, we're going to have to load our polygons in. So I'll come to the Open Folder icon. Here's our polygons. If you have a polygon the same name as your data folder, then your files will open automatically without going in and selecting Add Data. And what we've done in the GIA is selected to load all the files into one folder, which is generated in the GIA based on the lowest number of the polygon. So we'll select all these polygons. You'll notice that the data has loaded in automatically, so I will go ahead and click this red arrow and play it. Once all the data has played, you can generate a quick report. To do that, we'll, we'll go to the menu, and I will go to Create Report and select Quick Report. All the information that you see here has come from the GIA in the helicopter. I labeled these with helicopter just to make it a little more visible. Every time you open the create a report, you view the settings that come off of the GIA. If you click on use default, you view um, what was saved in spray view the last time a report was created. Here I've labeled this as spray view. If you want to load in your own defaults from the computer, you can select Load Default. And I've made a folder, Report Settings. And I have put in QR for Quick Report and RM for Report with Map. They each take a little bit different settings. This one I've labeled 855 Mike computer and so now you see that's loaded in once I selected it and if I click the default box it goes back to the data from the helicopter if I select default again it takes the information from the computer the information on spray view is still there if I cancel this and reopen it And you see the helicopter data, and if I select the default, you see the information stored on spray view. And if I load in default, then you have your settings from the computer. If you want to save your settings, you click on the Save button. And if it has the same name file that you want to save back into, you just click the open and it saves it without a fuss. Or if you want a new file, you just change the name and then click open. Once we are happy with our information, we can click create report. This is the address here. Spray zones. And I'll say OK. And we'll see if we can find that report. I saved it to Spray Zones. Here it is here, uh, Flight Report Offload. I'll open it up. And this is our Spray Report, listing all the information and flight data. Thank you very much.